At the end of the 20th century, at the Atlanta Olympics, outscenes of world records were sharply set by a group of unknown athletes. In the women's 100 meters, a 15-year-old girl who had never received formal training nearly broke the world record with a time of 9, second 61. An athlete who had decided to retire from competition performed a miracle in the high jump of 7 meters. Audiences around the world could not help but cheer and applaud their achievement and hailed them as superhumans. In the two years since then, many more superhumans have been born from the general population. They emerge in various fields such as art, music, physics, and so on, and rose to the top of their fields as fast as they could. Their success has also created a wave of superhumans around the world. But when it comes to medical blood, the most powerful is not superhuman, but a doctor known as the strange Dr. Blackjack. He does not have a license to practice medicine, only according to his own preferences, will charge patients astronomical fees for treatment, often millions of dollars. Blackjack originally had no interest in superhumans until this day to art dealers came to his door. They wanted to buy a painting from Blackjack for a large sum of money. The author of the painting is Lisa, a talented superhuman artist who has passed away. She was also one of the few patients who had not been cured during Blackjack's career. So Blackjack was very impressed with Lisa. Two years ago, when young Lisa was only 12 years old and had a tumor, Blackjack operated on her, and the surgery was a success, and the post-operative review was perfect. But not long ago, Blackjack received the news that Lisa's condition had recurred and had progressed to an incurable degree. Blackjack could not let go of Lisa's death and was also full of doubts about the cause of Lisa's death. In order to find out the cause of the disease, Blackjack performed an autopsy on Lisa's remains and really found a perverse thing all of Lisa's internal organs. The metabolic rate is abnormal. Just a years, the internal organs become as old as 90 years old, as weak and festering, which also led to the last days of Lisa's life is very painful. Unfortunately, as a superhuman, Lisa's death is not an exception. There are many other superhumans have shown the same full symptoms as Lisa. For this reason, a woman named Carolyn found Black Jack. Carolyn is the head of a medical research center. Two years in the institute admitted many superhuman patients, but unfortunately she has not been able to find a cure. So Carolyn hopes that Blackjack can help to save the superhumans. In order to make Blackjack unable to refuse this request, Carolyn also kidnapped his assistant Pinnock and gave Blackjack a check that he could fill in his own amount. Blackjack could only agree, not only for Pinnock's safety, but also to find out the real cause of Lisa's death. After following Carolyn to the institute, Blackjack finds out that the superhuman situation is much more serious than he thought. The athlete who once set a record for the 7 meter high jump had a seizure with a frighteningly high body temperature, as if it would explode at any moment. The girl who won the gold medal in the 100 meters also suffered from unexplained diarrhea and anorexia. The world-renowned genius pianist was vomiting 50 cc of blood every minute and would die if the transfusion was stopped. There were more than 40 such cases in the institute and by now 17 of them have died of the disease, including Lisa. What's even more frightening is that the number of superhumans discovered worldwide has exceeded 1,000 so far, and the number is still increasing, and they will all fall ill if there are no accidents. Blackjack then understood that the so-called superhumans, in essence, is a very terrible infectious disease. Although the infected people can show extraordinary talent, but ultimately cannot avoid the fate of the whole body organ, failure and death. Therefore, this disease is also known as Moira Syndrome. Moira is the goddess of fate in Greek mythology. In order to fight Moira Syndrome, Carolyn has long been looking for several doctors from around the world to form a research team. But unfortunately, there has been little substantial progress in the past two years. Blackjack has only been here for a few days and has found the problem. Each patient's pituitary gland, which has been overproducing a hormone that acts like morphine, will largely increase a person's ability to concentrate and this perform at an abnormal level. For athletes, it is the stimulant that can never be detected. But at the same time, the production of large amounts of the hormone can put a great burden on the body. This explains why patients end up with organ failure and die. However, these are only hypotheses at the theoretical level. And if we want to confirm them, we still need surgery to do so. Unfortunately, in the meantime, two more patients passed away one after another. One of the patients, unable to cope with the pain of the disease, hit the wall and killed himself. The other body overload. The heart burst. Eventually, Blackjack chose to operate on the high jumper, who was in relatively stable health. 
Just as Blackjack helps Carolyn, a fellow doctor secretly tells Blackjack that these are the machinations of a company called Brown Pharmaceuticals. The Institute from its initial construction to all subsequent expenses, was underwritten by Brown Pharmaceuticals. All the doctors except Blackjack are also employees of hospitals affiliated with Brown Pharmaceuticals. The head of the institute, Carolyn, is also the only daughter of the owner of Brown Pharmaceuticals. Between Brown Pharmaceuticals and Morris Syndrome, there must be an unknown connection. Before the arrival of Blackjack, Carolyn has been forcing doctors to conduct miserable life experiments. Many patients who had not been recorded were randomly lifted out of their skulls, had their brains removed, and were deprived of life without their knowledge. As a doctor, Blackjack would never allow such a thing to happen again. One night, a civilian armed group, the combat doctors, invaded the institute. The colleague who revealed the information to Blackjack was an undercover agent of the fighting doctors in the institute. They quickly took control of all the doctors at the institute and transferred the patients to the regular hospital. Carolyn, on the other hand, took the opportunity to escape from the institute. She went directly to Brown Pharmaceuticals and met with her so-called father. The father ordered her to stop the research and destroy all evidence so as not to implicate Brown Pharmaceuticals. Carolyn was determined not to give up. As soon as Carolyn left, she was assassinated. Through the combat doctor corps, Blackjack learned some more information. It turned out that all the Morris Syndrome patients in the past five years had been seen in the hospital affiliated with Brown Pharmaceuticals. But for some reason, the patients were keeping their mouths shut about it. It was hard to understand why they were defending the organization that had victimized them when they were clearly the victims. A few days later, a team of combat doctors filed a lawsuit against the Institute and all the people involved were arrested. One of the Institute's doctors revealed a very important clue to them in order to reduce his sentence. Six years ago, a race car driver was participating in a cross-country race across the desert when he disappeared in an accident, and it took searchers about a month to find him. And the racer not only miraculously survived, but also won successive championships in subsequent racing competitions. After Carolyn noticed the racer, she signed a contract with him and got all the information about the racer during his disappearance and the opportunity to stop. Carolyn found that the racer's hormones were about 10 times higher than normal. She guessed that there must be something in the desert that could make such changes in the human body. Carolyn took her team and searched the desert carefully, following the track of the racer's disappearance. Eventually, they found, deep in the desert, a shimmering sand. After decomposition and purification, Carolyn made a drug. It was this drug that caused so many superhuman tragedies. The side effects of this drug are too great, and this is the real reason why Carolyn turned to Black Jack to find a solution. Although Black Jack has not yet researched the antidote, he has successfully removed the infected part of the patient's pituitary gland through surgery. After the analysis of the surgical data was completed, Black Jack found Carolyn and told her that what caused Morris syndrome was a filtered virus, which was delayed because it was extremely difficult to be detected, and he found it inadvertently during the surgery. Carolyn was also determined not to hide anymore. She poured a glasses of red wine and explained everything to Black Jack while drinking. In order to test the new drug, Carolyn found a group of young people with extremely ordinary qualifications as the test body and gave these young people a very generous payment, which is the reason why all the patients kept the secret for Brown Pharmaceuticals. Initially signed this contract, but a hundred people, but did not expect is that this virus can be spread among humans. Black Jack thinks Carolyn is crazy, no matter what he is not willing to work with Carolyn again, and Carolyn has long guessed that Black Jack would be such an attitude. So she has long added 10 times the concentration of the drug in the red wine, intending to force themselves and also force Black Jack to find out the method that can fundamentally solve the Moira syndrome and develop a perfect new drug with zero side effects. After leaving from Carolyn, Black Jack remembered the story of the racer and he guessed that perhaps the antidote was hidden in the desert as well. Black Jack immediately set out for the desert with the doctors from the combat medic corps. They found an abandoned factory of brown pharmaceuticals deep in the desert. Already very sick Carolyn and kidnapped Pinnock are here. At this point, Carolyn has lost her mind. Shortness of breath, body temperature rose, spitting out blood. Black Jack saw that Carolyn was already in critical condition and immediately decided to operate on her. This surgery was an unprecedented experience for Black Jack. Because of the Moira syndrome, Black Jack seems to have become the world's most sophisticated surgical machine. Without the use of any tools, 
He can clearly see Carolyn's brain, every nerve direction, so the operation was completed very smoothly. But just after the surgery, the helicopter gunship sent by Carolyn's father began to bomb the factory in turn. Blackjack did not turn his back on Carolyn, but escaped from the factory with her on his back. With Carolyn's guidance, the two arrived at the place where Moira Syndrome was born. The glittering powder floated in the air like pollen, mixed among the sand and gravel. Carolyn guessed that if they kept walking against the wind, there must be a big garden, and there must be the answer they wanted. But before she could take a few steps, she was shot unceremoniously through the chest by a gunman. And in the pursuit of perfection, Carolyn fell down forever. In fact, Carolyn's real name is just a strain of numbers. He was artificially fertilized by the owner of Brown Pharmaceuticals. Is a combination of selected excellent sperm and egg products. There were 30 children like Carolyn, who had to compete from a young age to become Mr. Brown's only adopted son, and the competition was slowly reduced from 30 to only one. Carolyn grew up in such an environment and gradually became a hard-hearted person. After Carolyn's death, Blackjack struggles onto the front. When he lost consciousness, he was saved by a group of Aborigines who lived in the desert. After the Aborigines fed Blackjack a medicine, Blackjack miraculously healed later. After research, people found that the virus causing Mora syndrome was hidden in the pollen of the desert flower. The ability to coexist with the virus meant that the desert flower contained antibodies to this virus. Now all superhumans are saved. Life should be honored, and nature deserves to be feared.